fun. Yeah, well, and you've seen that guy that they're trying to sell now, that Vivek uh, yeah, Ramaswamy. Ramaswamy. He sounds like somebody's from DS9. Yeah. What a, the fuck? How? Who's vaccine guy? Big pharma guy? Big shawarma guy. Big shawarma, big vindaloo. <laughs> don't play the video. I don't want to see. The, I don't want to see this CNN shit. Anyway, he should be marching around on elephants when he comes out. Fuck. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just do something fun, something <laughs> ethnic. He should have. A, yeah. He comes out with a stethoscope on. And he's got. He's on an elephant. I mean, at least something good. He's got Beatles. He's got a help playing in the background. <laughs> something stupid. They're all looking for the sacrificial ring. He's handing out so DVDs of the fucking uh, Slumdog Millionaire. <laughs> yeah, Slumdog Millionaire and Crispin Glover's movies, the What Is It trilogy. He's handing out the DVDs. He's got trays of good food with him. <laughs> yeah, yummy spice. Mm -hmm. He's calling them yummy spices. He's got, he knows it's funny. He's got the scoop. He's selling really good spice. Yeah. You're going to hate this stuff, but trust me, it's good. <laughs> I get it. it. Stinks like body odor, right? Yeah, stinky, stinky. <laughs> no big deal. Listen, this stuff tastes good. I'm telling you. You like spaghetti? Kills worms. What do you care more about? Yeah, it's got turmeric. It's going to kill your worms. Oh, I trust understand. Me, you know killing worms, worms is a good thing. I'll be a pro I'll be your president in a few years. It's part and parcel of being in a big city or yeah, whatever. It's messed up that conservatives are so desperate for some type of like breath of oxygen that they they'll immediately stand behind this like huge forehead Indian guy. Yeah. That's super funny. Who's thirty six? Who are you gonna vote for? Who are you gonna vote for then like when as, the time as comes? As soon as as soon as he comes out, like the instant like one of his remarks hits Twitter, there's like Jordan Peterson and like all the Cons all the heads. Conservatards, like, this guy really has what it takes. I sat down to talk with him. He's got the I, good I him, stuff. I let him fuck my daughter, and she said that he was good. He flipped her around, like, yeah, freaking God. got her off. We're on thoth. I mean, if he said something like that, yeah, at least it'd be I'm impressive. Oh <laughs> I'd be like this. He got her off, like, a, for, he was for a while. It lasted for a while. I was like, oh, my God, it's kind of good. <laughs> I mean, that'd be impressive. He's like, yeah, the, dog, the guy's dick can last. I mean... And need I say anymore? He's got dick for days. Yeah. <laughs> Can you go to go to YouTube and type in like Hitler? Go go to YouTube and type in Vivek. Like Hitler, like a sandwich. You know what I'm saying? Sound like fucking Hitler. He's like a horse. I call him a horse, but I call him Hitler instead. <laughs> we'll take the smiling one. Man, here. he looks fantastic. He looks great. Look at the chompers on him. He's That's the hope of the heart of America. The hope of America. Someone handy is still at the game. Yeah. It's been 20 years. They resurrected him. God. So first, let me just address a question. He's got a CIA is, uh, pin on his lapel tonight. for years. Who the heck is this skinny guy with a funny last name, and what the heck is he doing in the middle of this debate stage? I'll tell you, I'm not a politician, Brett. You're right about that. He's got a woman's teeth. I'm an entrepreneur. Yikes. My parents came to this country with no money 40 years ago. I have gone Who on gives to a found multi-billion dollar company. <laughs> Your family. I'm marrying my wife, Apoorva. Raising our two sons. Following our faith in God. What are their that names? That is the American dream. And I am genuinely worried that that Is American dream oh. will not exist for our two sons and their generation unless we do something about it. And I do think Brett is going to take an outsider because for a long time we have professional politicians in the Republican Party who have been running from something. <laughs> Now is our moment to start fuck running it, fuck this to world, something, fuck this to world. our vision of what it means to be an American today. What does he tell us he can legalize, legalize you banana clips? The keys to the people who broke it again. I wish he, he says it. It keeps going down and down That's every year. And we're just getting warmed up. All right, Vivek. Someone I can get excited <laughs> about. Vivek. <laughs> I've been calling you Vivek. Why didn't you correct me? I didn't know Well, that. you know, it's I, Vivek. I didn't, I didn't mention it, Sean. That's okay. It's like cake. <laughs> you sh okay, you should have told me. I appreciate I, best efforts. I didn't efforts. do it on purpose. <laughs> I appreciate best efforts. Right, so it was asshole. interesting tonight. I thought you were in an interesting position. You brought a lot of energy in the back. And, and, a, Russ. and a smile, <laughs> and you seem to be having fun up there. Come on, Sean. Uh, I'm Let's the see only it. one on stage not bought and paid for. Ouch. Uh, I thought they were they were coming after you pretty good. Christy came back to you and You see you have fun with Women, okay. you were with Jordan um, Peterson's daughter you know, for a few hours. To Barack Obama, <laughs> yeah, we had a lot of fun. They say you fucked a girl. <laughs> Is that true? Yeah, and I, we I, had I, a lot of fun, I, Sean. We were Christy doing dick for days. We had uh, we had a few Obama, sessions up there in the cabin. The I'm not gay like. Well, there's a certain next president. I'm not gay like him. You know, Coom gang, gays. This is my first time in a political debate, and I am thrilled with how it came out. We over exceeded my expectation. Who's we? Trump in, as an outsider Who's last time I think his the bugs in his head. Pause this first. fucking right. shit. I want to see Sean. I want to see Hannity. Hannity CIA pen. I've always been impressed does by that. Does he have a CIA pen? Yeah, he does. What a great guy. I always liked. Uh, there was someone that's always stood uh, and said the best stuff forever, and has been never wrong. Has been always irrefutable and always the best. Always the best, and everyone knows how who that is. It's Patrick J. Buchanan. Has been the oh, yeah. only the out of everyone oh, yeah. out of everyone. He's the only one. He's the oh, only yeah. one. Only it's not one. A CIA pin, is it? Pat the skull Buchanan. one. 
Pat Buchanan's the only real one. Pat Buchanan's the man. Oh, that one. <laughs> that... Wow. On, the, on the right there. Wow. Neato. <clears throat> the fuck is that? Where do you get that? The store. He's got two. He's got two. Is he stereo laughs? <laughs> what the fuck? He's got through like Adobe Atmos going on his voice. You know who's got the best microphone setup? Glenn Beck. Uh, is it like a have thin you, ball? What, what do you do? Glenn, have you seen Glenn Beck's new studio? Not since he was on CNN. What's up? You got to see what Glenn Beck looks like right now. Ten million dollar studio. Uh, yeah, <coughs> I hope he looks. Uh, look up like like Glenn Beck like two days ago or like. What a god! It's all white. He's dressed like a. He looks like he's dressed as like a. Is um, he like in a milk commercial when the guy goes to hell after he get ridden over by the car? And he's like, you're fired. He gets run over by a car and he goes to hell. Let's do oh, YouTube, anyway, YouTube Chris. Man, like, 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 he's got white everything. What's with the hair? Yeah, yeah, you, you'll see. You're going to be dying. But look what So he's, let me give you this story wearing. from Axios uh, quickly. <laughs> America's decade <laughs> look at the with home Holy shit. Look at this fucking back outfit, the economy bro. And wow. And the Federal Reserve and exacerbating a national housing shells, crisis. Chuck. We're oh, stuck he does. here now. He's got shells. There's just too much wealth got white stored shells. in too many yes. houses what for anything lacks? to meaningful yeah. change. Oh. <laughs> the big picture is life is unpredictable journey. That's a nice shirt. People it's change like where they want yeah. to yeah. Ass. live yeah, all the time. White frame. It's nice. It's like the, it's like the sketch from a few months ago. It's, it's like, like 2001, a space odyssey. To that. They're talking about how it looks kind of good. It's moving. Looks good. Yeah. Home ownership is trapping That's people. You know this guy's a homeowner. And <laughs> the youth a real homeowner. is trying to find a place that a, to that's live. That's a crazy look, homeowners. Sammy. That's, that's a crazy look right there. Yeah. I don't, you think you'd be able to? What happens when the camera pulls out? Does it, is there like millions of dollars of stuff? Because he's oh, huge. Yeah. He's the biggest now, right? Is he a four hundred million dollars? He's, I, he's I mega, guess, mega. Yeah, he's a giant name. Yeah. He's ultra now. I want to see zoomed out on the studio and see how big money it is. What is he having an allergic reaction? He's got design. He's got those are some expensive glasses too. Yeah, for sure. Does yeah. he have a nice watch? A uh, tour of GBTV studio. Holy shit! <laughs> yeah. Holy shit, dude! Damn, he's like fucking. Uh, That's the dream. Guy Fieri. That's, That's the dream right there. That's the media production dream. Glenn Beck's Chris, got can, it. Can you go up? We're looking for the big studio. So Mercury Studios building. What's that? Is that him? Fifth fifth picture. Does he own that whole fucker? Oh my god! Yeah, Glenn Beck's a monster. He's got an airplane hanger full of film gear. Ever since the CNN days in the nineties, yo, he's huge. He's been around for so yeah. long, thirty years. When I saw the white mic and shit and the like, the mic, the, the mic sock, yeah, with the name on it, I was like, holy shit! So nice. And the bandana and the all white uniform, like this motherfucker's got some fucking air up his ass. So yeah, like, what? Yeah. The? He's dressing a little bit like Sly Stallone, a tiny bit. Yeah. Can we can we go to YouTube and see the, the tour? So Glenn Beck tour, do that. Uh, holy shit! It's like CAA. Holy shit, the design and shit. Mm. You can't even you can't even get this if you're a um, company. If you're yeah. a big company, he's got good design. Like not good, good, but this is like uh, this is big media. This is a, a huge cut above what a regular company would do. That's crazy. He's got good uh, window. Look at this window stickers. <laughs> Whoa. The grates and the is, lights under it. Nuts. It's like Babylon 5 in there. This is nuts. Look at this. He's got Dolly. Whoa. Wow, control room. Nice. You know, I wouldn't I wouldn't have a posterized picture of Abraham Lincoln, but this is like yeah, the worst president lot, in history. A lot of this furniture, I'm sure Nick, you recognize from like res restoration it's hardware mid, or something. Yeah, yeah it's, it's mid. Not great. But this is this is well, it's well above what a regular oh, yeah. what a regular corporate thing would do and you can't fake some things you can't fake like walls of glass and shit like right, that. You can't, right. Like, stain you know, that fucking staircases are like a hundred thousand right. god damn oh. yeah i saw I, I was like i remember hearing what you years ago that who, who was the other one that a uh, rush limbaugh had 400 million dollars yeah mm. and i remember being blown I mean, years away. ago trey parker and matt stone were worth four, 400, 400 million they were 400 million dollar men now they're two billion oh they went up oh of course well i mean i i make sense sure they make fucking, yeah, but it went down at some point well i don't know I remember even Larry David was at nine hundred million dollars. Like, yeah. what the? Fuck? Yeah. But for the the radio and talk guys, it's more it's weirder. Like if like yeah. you know, Larry David has a huge show that you'd buy DVDs of. Like you can imagine a mm. business model for that. Like same, yeah. with, same with South Park with this merch and video mm. games and stuff. Mm. These vo these guys that just use their voice and do talk radio, it's just 
I mean, it's just because we we don't we don't know we don't have access to how the money works in that world. But it's like kind of mind boggling. Like, where yeah. the fuck, where the fuck did he, you get five hundred million dollars? Yeah, how many right moves did what you make in a fuck? on top of your like? Yeah. Like you've been like, ah, oh, well, not only that, I also like invested in fucking uh, like Tesla, really, or whatever. Did like like ten right moves. Like mm -hmm. I bought Mad Ethereum at like a dollar. I just did what Nancy Pelosi did, and I ended up with five hundred million. And yeah. like you could like you can't. That's mad money. And then you hear other stories are like, oh, this guy's got mad money or, you know, like the, the Paul fights and stuff like that where they're throwing around like, he's going to make $100 million. And like, dude, he got $6.8 million. And I'm like, they were saying hundreds of millions and 40 yeah, and 80 yeah, million yeah, and yeah, shit. Yeah. Triple digits Why did he get here. six million? Like, how much did Nate Diaz get for the fight just now? Joe, how much did Joey like Diaz get? Two was million? It, it was some 1. Mil 1.5 million? Digit millions. Like Nate Diaz payout? $500,000? He might have just gotten a million. Yeah, es the piece estimated Five. between fifteen and twenty million. Like what? I think the five hundred thousand was like his guaranteed, and then he gets a cut of the pay per view or something. But he did, he did not he did not get ten million dollars. <laughs> no, he didn't get ten it's million. So funny, like, man. I mean, he's Nate Diaz. Isn't that fucked up? It is fucked up. All the stream the stream deals too are all cap. Really? Yeah. Yeah, they must. Like someone, I, someone who would know and is reputable told me that Doctor Disrespect asked Rumble for eight million, and they didn't even negotiate with him. They just flat out refused him. And Doctor Disrespect is like huge, huge. He's a monster. He's the he's one of the biggest streamers. Why do they do they that? They wouldn't give him eight million, <clears throat> just because they would. They don't. They they're not giving out deals like that. Those deals where it's like, oh no, hundred million dollar streamer just not. Yeah, that didn't get, happen. They'll they'll they'll, they'll like. Hold it happened that with Microsoft, bag. but then they bagged it up. <clears throat> Well, the ones who make the most money, like the Spotify deals, were nasty. Like that girl, the I'm call sure me, there were some stupid early, call me daddy 50 early million. ones. That was the, the girl got fifty million right off the rip. That was hmm. like insane for talking about her pussy lips or something like that. Oh, what? Oh, like, good for her. It stinks like tuna can. Oh. And she immediately gets the million. Now, now she got a dope apartment. She's an architectural digest. Good for her. Fuck oh. it. She got the good deal. <laughs> tell us, sixty million. What? Yeah, a twenty-nine year old girl. She's like, and then my hood stunk like fucking tampon fucking cotton.